Hi guys, I'm back. We're going to have one more go at the sink strainer on the spinner. Um, just to see what happens. Um, we're going to go with way less beachy color this time. Way less. So I'm just going to start pouring the colors in. And the uh, exact same colors as last time. So, um, if you want to know what the colors are, just look at that last video. I tell you in the very beginning what colors I use. So, um, I did not. And there's no silicone in these paints either, just so you know. Although I kind of want to put silicone in them just to see what they do, but kind of too late now. So, maybe next time. Um, yeah, I have a bad habit. I don't write down the colors that I use below my video because I now I tell you every video what colors I'm using. So hopefully, you know, you're you can, you know, go back and the beginning of each video and hopefully see what colors I'm using. And we're just going to keep layering and I'm going to put very minimal amount of the beachy color in there because I really don't want it to overpower my beautiful ocean colors because they all just kind of went completely off off last time whoa let's do some more a little bit of white there we go a little more of that beautiful cobalt metallic Okay, I'm thinking probably not much more of the beachy colors, I'm thinking. One more addition of this color. Okay, and that should be plenty. So now we're going to do I don't even know if I really want to use that mustardy color or not. It's not real pretty. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of this. A hint of white. No, let's do some gold first. A bit of white. Just a pinch more of this literally a pinch more. Whoops. I didn't get on that side. There we go. A little bit more gold. Okay. Maybe just a pinch of white and that's going to be it. Okay. I did not, I did tape the bottom of my sink strainer again, but I did not um I did not put white paint under it like I did in the first sink strainer. So I'm going to give that a second to sort of pour out because last time I didn't, I picked it up and there was a lot of paint still left in it, but I really don't want to leave too much paint on there. But it's a pretty pattern so far, sort of. <laughs> it definitely does better when you just do the colors individually. But now I kind of want to put silicone in them and do one more and see what that does. I think that might be kind of cool. I think that's about done as far as it's going to go. I mean, we could sit here for a while, but I think I lost my other colors there. Well, that center didn't turn out as cool as the other one did like an empty spot right here. Come on. Let's bring in those colors. They're slowly going in but not. I'm just trying to bring them in so they'll What happened there? Totally lost the gold. Let me get that. 
gold come in there a little bit. Okay, I don't want to keep fussing with it. I mean, I do, but I don't. I don't. <laughs> the center of these just just doesn't work. I haven't seen anybody's center work. So if anybody, you know, has luck with the centers of these, please tell me what you do. That is off center, big time. Looks kind of cool though. Just letting it spin until I can see all the edges covered. Woo. There we go. The bot the center is still there. But that one looks cooler. That one definitely looks cooler. So two different sets of colors works well. In the second set, you have to do just a little bit. It definitely needs something in there, and I'm not really sure what to do about that. I mean, I really don't know what to do about that. That really bothers me right there. I don't know what happened there. I'm not going to touch it. Because <laughs> I fussed with the other one so much, I finally was staring at it when I was done, and I ended up putting glitter in the middle of it. And I'm not a glitter person. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. But this one's kind of neat. If you ha you can make it like into a clock if you had like a face plate here that covered up the center section. But like all of this is gold. So, all right. Well, let's get you down so you can see it a little better. All right. Let's see if you can see the gold how pretty it shimmers probably if we if i ever pour resin over this one it's going to be super pretty at least the gold part will be but that center definitely leaves something to be desired but all in all i think it's kind of cool so i don't know i'll call this one a success i think Okay, well, I like this one well enough that, but I'm really dying to put silicone in these colors and do it again. <sighs> you can kind of see a few little cells coming up here, so I don't know what that, what it would do. I mean, it, of course, it would be overloaded with cells and you'd lose the flower pattern, but it still might look kind of cool. So I might have to do one more record spin with... The sink strainer. I might just have to. All right, well, this is where I'm going to leave you. There's your pretty for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. It turned out a little cooler than the first one. Um, yeah, I probably should show you the second one. Hold on. Okay, there's the second one. Or, no, the first one, sorry. And as you can see, I loaded up the center with some turquoise glitter to sort of offset the... Uh, the ugly in the middle <laughs> and it's kind of okay now well, I don't know y'all let me know what you think okay back with the pretty one this is where I'm gonna leave you I hope wherever you are on the planet you have an awesome afternoon day evening or night I want to thank all my subscribers all of my viewers I love and appreciate each and every one of you um, and uh, lately y'all have been giving me some some great ideas some great suggestions on where I can get stuff or you know what to do next maybe so thank you for those I always love to hear y'all's ideas and wherever you're on the planet hope you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night if I didn't say that already but I think I did <laughs> all right see you later bye